Today I have something kind of interesting to share with you, and that is this Locklick laser engraver. Now I've tried a bunch of different laser engravers at this point. This is one of the more affordable models and it has a couple of features which I really like. Namely, app control, so you can design and use this machine right from your phone. A small size, doesn't take up too much space. Nice enclosure for safety. And easy to use focusing mechanism, among other things. All for a rather great price. Yeah, let's break this down and take a look at this machine. Right out of the box, it may look like quite a few pieces, but it is not really. The things to assemble here are mostly related to the enclosure. And you know, there's an option when you get this machine, whether or not to get the case, the enclosure. And if you're debating whether or not it's worth it, I would say if you want to be able to use this machine without wearing glasses and you know having other people in the room, if you want to reduce the amount of smoke and fume in the air, the enclosure is essential. It's one of those things that make a really big difference. Okay, so we have some feet to screw on that lifts the unit up a bit. And then we have a light strip that gets attached inside and a grommet on the side where the wires for the light strip and the fan funnels through. Now the light strip really makes a difference. It provides a lot of light. Here we have the laser head. So this is 10 watts, not a huge amount. However, unless you're doing like production work or something where high speeds is essential, 10 watts will definitely get the job done. It's very like appropriate for this unit. I love this laser. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, you can turn it on now. So this comes with two power supplies. The one is controlling the motor and the other one is controlling the light and the fan in here. The light has its own switch. Now, as you can see, I'm actually just using a small power supply here to run this whole thing, which is kind of interesting because you could bring this along somewhere. You don't have to be in your shop. And since it has app control, I mean, you could, you know, set up shop at a farmer's market or wherever if you wanted to, or, you know, bring it with you. That's kind of a neat feature. So in terms of the unit here, there are limit switches here, which means that unless the case is closed, the unit won't operate. So kind of a nice safety feature, because of course um, here we have this nice cover, which means that you can operate the machine without wearing um, the glasses. Because if you have a laser engraver without a cover, you have to wear glasses, but this has the protective cover. So you don't need to, but that's where the limit switches come in. We have a key, so this is nice. You want to take this out if you want to make sure nobody can use the machine when you're not around. So a nice safety feature. There's also an, emer um, an emergency uh, button here. If the emergency button is pushed in, the machine won't work. So if you're trying to figure out why is it not working, you might just need to uh, get this out. We also have a power switch. And this is the computer connection if you're controlling it from a computer. It also comes with this SD card. And there's some software on here to connect to Lightburn to set everything up. And the other nice feature about this is that you can put this SD card in here um, if you want to like use the app, for example, and then all the files are saved onto the card. And there's also a, a little antenna on the side here. This is a Wi-Fi antenna, so it's connected to the web that way. Inside here, we have the laser head. This is 10 watts. Now, this machine does not have autofocus, but it has something that is pretty neat. Okay, so if we want to focus this piece of wood, for example, okay, 
I'm gonna lower this. We have this switch right there. Bring this up. So you see that? So now it's sitting on the wood. And now I'll secure it and bring this up. And now it is focused. Now remember, this is an affordable model. So it doesn't have, you know, the autofocus or some of these other features, but that I kind of like that they have found solutions to work around that, that are actually, uh, you know, very straightforward and work really well. In terms of use in this, I found that it works quite nicely if you raise the work up just a little bit. Now, in order to make it easy to use, I actually burned the, the work area into it so that there's no confusion like what area you are you know, able to, to burn in. And then I can put my blocks in and my work piece lines up just perfectly. And by doing that, I know that there won't be any waste on the board. I can use the whole thing if I want to do that. So we've been doing some tests now and when everything is running, we have the, the, the laser head, the lights, the fan, it is using a total of 70 watts. So that, you know, is pretty good. That's not a whole lot of power draw. If you actually wanted to go out and set up shop somewhere, you know, a small power supply unit will last you for several hours running this non-stop. So you can either design and control everything from a computer or you can use their app. The app makes it very easy to just laser engrave something real quick. <laughs> Through the app you can choose designs, shapes, you can write text, different fonts. It's pretty straightforward and I like how it removes any hassle. Sometimes you just want to make a quick sign or, or do something pretty simple um, and then why not just do it on your phone. So we've done a bunch of tests on different things. Um, cutting through wood, not an issue. Doing different designs. The top left here is a photograph. Also been playing around with engraving some leather, did some fabric tests. Um, and all in all, yeah, everything seems very crisp and uh, haven't had any issues. One rather satisfying thing to make, I think, are different signs and plaques you can put in different areas, give away as gifts, or yeah, sell. And you can just pick a topic, like here, coffee. <laughs> Let's make two different signs using their pre-made images. Um, basically just choose one from the app, um, resize to the proper size, do it all from the phone, and uh, then print, it's done rather quickly. So here we are both engraving and we are cutting out the shape. So a few minutes and we have something fun to put in our coffee corner of the kitchen. The other thing I think is kind of nice is this is a pretty small unit and sometimes laser engravers can be quite large. They take up a lot of space and you know, we don't always have that amount of space to use. So this is kind of small. I have to say there's a charm about this unit. The fact that it is so affordable, it's almost like, um, like there's a lot of really functional features. Yeah, it doesn't have like autofocus and, and a few of those things, but that's okay, I think. And I really um, think the app features is, um, is interesting. I haven't seen that before and it makes it much easier actually and useful if you want to do things on the fly and you just want to create something um, and not go through the trouble of always you know, using a computer. So 
Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. There will be a link to this product in the description. Like I say, I think this is a kind of an interesting model. And especially if you are looking for something that is, you know, pretty affordable in the budget range, but still offers a lot of different, like interesting features and something that is actually quite useful. Um, I would say this is a good option. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.